I, I think Curtis is the one guy that I, I, I do try to shoot because he's always the best playmaker. But it's just, it's defenses are pretty, you know, they're, they're, they're facing some pretty good defenses to start worrying about those type of things. That, it just takes away from the flow of the game a little bit. So it's just, let's get first downs. We've got a young team, let's get better. And just find a way to get first downs. So that's all I've got. You have emphasized uh, enjoying wins so much these past few days. It, it's made me wonder if that was a concern of yours with the team. Did you see yeah. them not enjoying? No, I just think that, uh, you know, it happened in Florida too. And you get these high expectations, which we all have this way over here. And I just want to make sure that. Uh, First of all, our players enjoy it. Um, second of all, I, I think our coaches need to enjoy wins too. We won a lot around here. So make sure we enjoy them and, and uh, if areas that you need to improve, make sure you improve. So that, that's all I've got for that. Can I ask a third, Jerry? Sure, Lord. Okay. Sure, Sam. I heard someone scouting Northwestern and they made an interesting point about why Austin Carr is able to get the ball so much is that he's a target on every play. He may not be the, the first read, but have you ever had a guy who is someone that you want to make sure is at least a possible target on every play? Sure, we have one right now. Curtis? Thank you. Dave. We ask a lot about the balance offensively as far as rushing and passing. We've talked a lot about that. I'm curious about the balance between tempo. Sometimes you guys go up tempo like early in the year. You guys are really focused on that. It seems like lately you guys have been going kind of more ball control. What's the balance you want as far as going up tempo as, as a, you know, compared to maybe controlling the clock a little bit? Well, two things. Game management is one thing. Uh, <laughs> if we're getting uh, certain defenses that we don't like and you get stuck in a bad play. So it's just the, throughout the course of the game, you know, we can go to tempo anytime we want. And we, I want to say, there's still a good chunk of players who are doing that tempo throughout the course of the game. All things being equal, would you prefer being an up-tempo offense as opposed to maybe a ball control offense? Or do you not really care? Have a good offense. Have a good offense. <laughs> All right, Austin. Urban's already uh, come up again once today with, with Curtis. Did you get this many questions about Percy and the way you used him 10 years ago? Sweet, so I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you just do you get the impression that maybe that position is misunderstood the way? No, Jerry is saying he's giving me stats. He's already statistically better than Percy he's had in a year, so I don't know. But the fixation is I, I think he's having a hell of a year. So I, don't, I don't mind it. Once again, if we didn't have him, then what else could we talk about? So <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure the fixation is other than I love him. He's a good player and a good kid. Trying to get the ball if it's 13, 14, whatever it is in the game. So. And if you, if you gave him more, I mean, it has to come from somebody else, right? I mean, you're taking away that ball. Yeah, sure. Front row right, Tim. Urban, uh, Big Ten announced today. Right? Yeah. I'm just trying to think logically, you have more players. Right? <laughs> it goes back to the tempo, I guess. It's a big one. Uh, Urban, Big Ten announced today that uh, they're going to play games on Friday night starting next year. Uh, Primetime games. I'm just wondering what you have some place high school football. Just what is your reaction to that announcement? I did not know. I, uh, Jerry said something on the way in. And we're gonna try to find a way to beat Nebraska. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, in that regard, uh, Malik Hooker in the last several weeks has he stepped up from the standpoint of being uh, I don't know if one or another word more of a hitter, more of a uh, run and forcer kind of guy. I mean, what have you seen out of him in the last several weeks? Obviously, y'all asked him to step up and stop that uh, the jet sweep that Wisconsin did so, and he played very physical against at Penn State yeah, last he, week. He's obviously <laughs> a fine player, and, and they're using him in a variety of ways now. A little bit like you know, we have a great player like Von Bell. You know, he's a guy that can do a lot of things for you, very good in coverage, and also, like you said, they rock and roll the safeties because he's such a good tackler. So he's doing everything we're asking, and, and I don't, you know, I don't work with him as much. Uh, but I hear Coach Channel, and you know, I see what I see like you guys do. He's just a lot of players.